I understand that, but you know, I'm a man with needs, and I, what I need you to do is please me. You're not doing that, so. The differences between DoorDash and Uber East, the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> DDK and I'm back today with another DoorDash video. Huge shout out to everybody tuning in. If you aren't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip the ads. Today is Tuesday, January 11th, and we already started dashing. We've been dashing for 45 minutes. We have got no good orders. We literally have probably got like maybe three orders. All Walmart, all terrible. Oh, three Walmarts, maybe two Walmarts in the subway. That was no tip at all so no tip no trip hashtag no tip no trip if you are a dasher today is going not the greatest we also have a luncheon to go in at 12 o'clock so it is 10 16 right now so we're going to see what we can come up with in about an hour and 30 minutes then we got to head to the luncheon but again if you aren't squad make sure you smash the subscribe button if you are squad give me a thumbs up but do not skip the ads one more thing you guys are going to hear the conversation i have with doordash let's go hello yeah i'm where you at you at home. Who there with you? Are you by yourself? Okay, man, look. We gotta have a talk, man. I know that, you know, we've been together for a while and all that. And it's been a few months. Everything was going great. And then it's like, things just changed. You've been tired. I understand, but you ain't giving me none no more. Like, the orders you was giving me before, you was giving me the Walmart orders every day, and now it's just like, you just stopped. What's that all about? It's like, you know, I want to be, I want to still be with you and all that stuff, but you ain't pleasing me. And I just feel like that it's time that, I just, I, I feel like we should have an open relationship. Why not? I understand that, but you know, I'm a man with needs, and I, what I need you to do is please me. You're not doing that, so it's like, and I've been, you know, dibbling and dabbling. I've been hearing about this other girl called Uber Eats. She, you know, they said that she, she, you still gonna be my main girl though. You still gonna be like, you know, my number one girl and all that stuff. But I mean, I need, I need that money to keep on flowing in. It ain't been flowing in like it was. Uh, here you go with the crime. I've been telling you this over and over though. It's like, I've been steady telling you that you need to get it together, you need to get it together, but now now you want to start crying. Was you thinking about crying when you were doing what you were doing or when you, when you wasn't doing what you were supposed to be doing? Hey, remember that time? Remember that one time? Remember that time when you gave me that $98 order? That Walmart order? <laughs> Oof, we got it in, didn't we? Yeah. Well, um... I know that you're saying that you're going to you know, get things together and you're going to be better and all that stuff. But you said this before. And then you be better for two days. The next thing you know, you're back, to, you're back to your old ways. So, you know, it's just something I need to think about. And you need to think about it. We come to a conclusion on what we're going to do. So I'll talk to you later. Just call me when you get off work. And don't be at work crying and all that stuff, too. Because, you know, people be all in the business. They want to know, you know. But, yeah. All right. All right, talk to you later. All right, bye. As you guys just saw, I had to end my monogamous relationship with DoorDash. I might have to start seeing other people. It's just, you know, a man needs is a man needs. And she's not pleasing my needs. So I need, I might have to go see other people. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what's going on. But we still, and she's not even after that, after I talk to her, she still ain't doing what she's supposed to do. First thing she gonna do is send me this order right here. Subway. For $2.75. She didn't even wanna give me a tip order. I mean, what do you guys, what do you guys think I should do? Comment below and let me know what you think I should do. Because I'm, it's a breaking point. So I don't know if it's gonna last or if it's not gonna last. But you guys comment below and let me know. 
We got our first Uber Eats order, Rosati's Pizza, 7.7 .7 miles for 13, I think 57. This app is completely different, so you guys gotta work with me on this because I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's go. Baby, this is crazy. This feels so weird. It's hard from scratch again. Get back here. Oh, okay. Get back here. Thank you, sir. You doing that? I'm doing Uber Eats right now, yeah. You Uber Eats. I'm doing, this is my, actually my first time doing Uber Eats. I usually do DoorDash, but it's yeah. my first time, so I try to switch it up a little I'm, bit. I'm DoorDash, I'm leaving DoorDash. Man, see, also, see, I, I got it on my YouTube, this is my YouTube channel right here. So this is my first time doing it, and they're gonna go with go with me while I do it. I usually, I've been doing DoorDash for a few months. It's been going pretty well, but it's kind of slow now. Well. They're so messed up. Their computer system went down yesterday mm -hmm. after I had already picked up an order. They couldn't send me. Oh. The second time they've done that. I've yeah. been with them for about 18 months. Oh, yeah? I like it. I like the hours. Mm hmm. I was thinking of going to Uber Eats or one of those other places. Yeah. So I'm going to try, try this one out and see how it works and then just kind of go from there. Uh. Thank you very much, sir. That's it? Yeah. I'm good to go? All right, thank you. You have a good one. On this rope, it says to meet them at the door. They got these stuff boxes. So people probably try to come in and turn around all the time. This is on the main street, so. Hopefully, I'm taking I see some ice right here. So I see entertainment. That's what people tell me, some ice and entertainment. So I guess I'm just supposed to deliver this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do after that. Is this the right door? Something on board right now. Oh, oh there you are. hello. I thought I was I was I was confused. Like which door am I supposed to go to? Here you go, sir. Is everything? No, I have another bag for you. Here. Uh, here you go. You enjoy. Thank you have a good one. Stay warm. You're welcome. Be careful, be careful. Yes, sir. You too. No problem. We just dropped off the first delivery, and for my girl Megan that I watched on YouTube, they said it. Oh, so it's five dollars sixty-four cent. What does this mean? Comment below and let me know what this means. I don't know. Five dollars sixty-four cent just popped up right here. I don't know what that means. It was supposed to be thirteen something. So. I don't know. You guys let me know because I'm confused. I don't know what to do, but just let me know. Comment below and let me know. I don't know what's going on. Let's get it. Got us one McDonald's 1.6 miles for $6. We're a holla. It's located in a different area. Uh, E-E-C-A-F. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You have a good one. Get busy. I usually come to the other. She used to take care of me and the lady right here. Hello. How you doing? I have a DoorDash for Ryan H. Okay, thank All right, you. thank you, have a great one. First DoorDash order, Teriyaki Madness, one item, 4.8 miles for 7.25, let's drive. They got us together. Hey, how you doing? I have a DoorDash for William Z. For Will? For Will, William Z. For William. It's not supposed to be done until 33, uh, so. It should be out shortly. Okay, how long you thinking? Like five minutes. All right. Sir, how you doing? Uh, good, how you doing? Trying to stay warm, man. And try, and try not to slip on this ice, too. Well, both of them. Here you go, sir. That's your drink. And that's your food. Thank you, you enjoy so it. Stay have warm and have a great day. Subway, one item, 2.8 miles, 675. Let's drive. Hello. I have a DoorDash pickup for Rose B. Thank you very much. You Thank have a good you. one. Yeah. And it's a customer, so that's what we're going to do, baby. Ring that doorbell. Hello. Here you go. You have a good one. This one, Walgreens, 2.2 miles, five items, $8 with holler. Let's get it. Busy. I need a 12 pack of Sprite. And four hours on the street. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. 
Ich kann mal reinfahren. Ich don't know what these Arizona iced tea. Uh, we need two, two grapes. Grapes? Two grapes. Bam. That's one. Grab another one. Pop, pop. Right there. They're gonna let me do two, so I'm gonna take this one. Get two full punches. Proceed to check out. This complex has got to be the most confusing thing in the world. This stuff is crazy. Shit right here. Let's get it. Aha Sushi, three items, 10.5 miles for 16.50. Get with me. Baby, hopefully they got us together. Hello, I have a DoorDash from Stephanie M. What's it? Stephanie M. I'm here to jump off this ah sushi sushi. Put that over right here. Mama. Don't let that fall off. Mama. Mama. Let's get it. We had our first issue. We had Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, it's called Wild Burger, so it's kind of, I kind of didn't know. Buffalo Wild Wings on the blacklist anyway, but they didn't have the order in their system at all, so they have to get the order off my phone, which they're talking about 10 minutes. So I'm going to cancel this. I don't really know what I'm doing. Report an issue. Um, excessive wait time. Yes, cancel. So you guys comment below and let me know. The people who have done this before do Uber Eats. Tell me what happens when you cancel the order. Portillo's two orders, 14 items, 11.6 miles, $17 with a holler. Let's go. <laughs> Here you go, sir. All right, thank you. You have a great day. Stay warm. We are here, baby. Got us one KFC eight items five miles eight fifty. Get with me. Let's get it. We are here at KFC. It's been a while. Hopefully, hopefully they get us together. Hopefully we got these for thirty five thousand. Hello. I have to do that pick up for James O. They got more workers too. They can knock the stuff out. All right, thank you. You guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you guys give me another thing? I think it's gonna fall. Another. Oh, of course, of course. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No have a good night. Yeah. All right, you too. We are here, baby. Drop off this KFC. Drop this thing right here. Bob. Up the pool right there. Bob. Get that photo right there. Bob. Doorbell. Bingo. Let's go. Let it work. Let's go. Got us one Arby. Don't say nothing. Look now. We did not mean to hit this order, but our our acceptance rate ain't the greatest right now, so we're gonna take it anyway. Seven miles Arby's for seven dollars and fifty cent. Let's get bent. In this zone, baby. It's my first time doing the. I think it's the second time doing the Arby's order. Hopefully it's ready so we can get busy. 
We had to come all the way back here. We was going our way, going towards the house, man. Now we here. How you doing? I have a DoorDash pickup for Mike L. We are here, baby. We got some ice in this joint. Drop it like a side. Hit it with that photo. Bop. Do me up. Let's go. Order of the night is going towards home at 1675. They ain't have it ready yet. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to uh, do that pick up for Elise S. Get it done, baby. Over eats. There you go. You have a good night. The differences between DoorDash and Uber Eats. The pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly. If I'm going to multi-app and all type of different questions, my business partner is going to ask the questions. So, let's get busy. So, um, why don't you tell me what your first initial thought was using Uber Eats? My first initial thought was the app. I dislike the app. I dislike, it's just too much. I'm a very simple guy, so it's like I don't, it's just too much going on in there, man. They need to have it nice, simple, and easy to use. It's not that easy to use. Or I could be wrong because I'm just uh, used to using DoorDash. So I'm not sure, but it seems, it seems a little bit harder to use. It's confusing, it's confusing, it's confusing. Especially when you get an order. When you get an order, it's good and it's bad. When you get the order, it does, the thing I like about it, it does tell you how long it should take you to do the order. So just say if it takes 20 minutes, it's gonna tell you that right there. The mileage, it tells you the mileage. Um, I dislike the map, it's terrible. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Like I can't zoom in to see where I'm going. It's just like, it's like in a small little area, you can barely see it. So I don't like that part. What did you think about the payout for um, Uber Eats versus DoorDash? Which payout was higher? Which one do you like? Do you think that it was worth the extra miles? Like, what do you think about the payout? Honestly, I like the payout. The base pay, it seems to be, from my understanding. The payout is higher on DoorDash, the base pay. I think it's 275 and I think on Uber Eats, I think it's only $2. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. If I am mistaken, come below and let me know. Um, I feel that they had some decent orders on there. The first orders that we did, I felt like there was longer miles. It was a little further out, which I don't have a problem with it. You know, if we're gonna make the money, we're gonna make the money regardless. Um, it was something I didn't like. What was it? Oh, oh, about the pay. Let me tell you, uh, Uber Eats. Y'all need to get the pay together. I dislike that you cannot see how much you really make until like later on. I don't like that at all. I need to know, like, it tells you and then I might forget and then I don't remember. And they can tip you, but they can tip you like later. So, I don't know. I don't, it's kind of confusing on that part because I need to be able to see how much, like at the end of the videos, I'll tell you guys how much I made for the day. But if it doesn't tell me then how I'm supposed to tell you. So I didn't like that part at all. And then did you have to call Uber Eats customer service at all today? Did you have any app crashes or any issues with any order declining that you had to call them at all? No, I did not have to call Uber Eats. I did have to cancel order for this place we are right now, Buffalo Wild, because they be playing in here. So y'all, hey, get it together. But anyway, no, I didn't have to call them. I must say their app works better than DoorDash. I'm just gonna tell, be straight up honest with you. I know I'm DDK and all, but the app works better as far as not freezing. I ain't gonna say, you know, how it looks and stuff. I already don't like that, but not freezing and stuff, it works very fluently. Do you think that you didn't use it enough yet to make a determination which app, which company you like better? Is it gonna be DoorDash or Uber Eats? Or do you think that you can make a decision right now? One thing about me that you guys may or may not know is I make decisions pretty fast. This usually don't take me that long. The app, I think DoorDash app is better because it's simpler, it's easier to use for me. I'm very simple, so I don't like all the extras. I do think that Uber Eats has more perks though. It tells you more stuff on the app, like that you can get 25% off of your maintenance and that you can, um, it has a 1099 right there on the thing. You can, you can look at it. Which one do I like better? I like, I like, I like the simplicity of DoorDash better, but I like, it tells you how long that you're gonna to take to do the order on Uber Eats. I think that they can learn from each other. 
I, I really believe that if they, you know, sneaked and looked over there and was seeing what they were doing, they could kind of make the app better on both on both sides. The technology on the Uber Eats app is better because it's, it hasn't froze or turned off or clicked out or went out of door that's that joint just crashed. But I also only did it just on my first day too, so. Did you notice a difference in the restaurants that you picked up from with Uber Eats versus DoorDash? Were the restaurants the same? Were they different restaurants? And if they were the same, did the payout seem similar to what you get with DoorDash? Or did you notice that on Uber Eats you made a little bit more? The only one I saw different was Buffalo Wild Wings, y'all, this is going to be terrible. It don't matter who it is. I did notice that when we went to McDonald's, that order was ready already. It was like sitting on the thing waiting for me. Remember when we went? It was sitting on there waiting. That's never, it's never happened before on DoorDash. And I also noticed that when we went to Menards today, because we always deliver to Menards. It's like literally like across the street, but it's a busy street. The payout was $6 and it usually like $5.25 or $5.75 for, for the McDonald's orders. Okay, so the very last question is, would are you going to continue using both apps simultaneously or are you going to drop one and keep the other or possibly use one a certain time or a certain day and use the other one a certain time or day? Like, what, do, what are your plans going forward? My plan is, you know, once we start cheating, we start cheating. We in it. We in it to win. We cheating now. That's what we're doing. So, I'm sorry, baby. You know, I love you and all, but, you know, you was playing games, so I had to move on. Well, I ain't really move on. I'm still messing. You still my man, girl. But I am going to use both apps. One, oh, another bonus. Another thing that I like about, I love about Uber Eats that's, that's better than DoorDash is you can Uber Eats everywhere. You don't have to go to different zones and all that stuff. You can just go and click it on. You just turn it on and you go. And you don't have to schedule anything from what I know. You can just go on there and press go and you go. You don't have to wait, schedule it, oh, it's too many dashes, none of that. I can be around Lake Waukegan anywhere and I can use it. Just go and I can turn it off at any time. And it don't it doesn't have like a on on, on DoorDash you gotta wait you got thirty five minutes and then it's over. They're gonna kick you out. On Orbeast you can turn it on and off whenever you want to. I think that DoorDash need to implement that in their app because it's way just way better. Okay, so I said I was done with the question, but you did mention something earlier about the way that DoorDash makes you feel based on their messages when you do something. Um, you want to tell the people that are listening what you think? DoorDash, you be trying to check people a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Obviously, when you when it says it says you appear not to be going towards delivery, and then after that it says, oh, if you miss if you miss the order, it says, oh, you missed the order, so we decided to give it to somebody else, to another dash and all that stuff. Little DoorDash, you be trying to check people a little bit. Kind of what? I got Tony. See what you be doing, man. But all in all, honestly, I'm going to use both apps. I don't know why I've been doing this. A lot of times in life, when I learn something, people been saying about the, the multi-apping. But I never, before, doing DoorDash was cool with me. Until you get a little whiff of that other side. And, you, and then on our slow days, like tomorrow's going to be a slow day, usually, on DoorDash. So we're going to see what happens tomorrow with the Obese app. Honestly, we... We probably got the Okay. Honestly, we probably got the same. I think we, at first, we was getting more Uber East orders. We definitely were. We was getting more Uber East orders. And then DoorDash took over at the end. But I I think that I'm going to, I don't, no, I don't think I'm going to use both apps now. And I need you guys to comment below and let me know if you did some other apps that I need to use because I'm putting that in there too. We I ain't playing no more games. Now that I got a little whiff of it, it's over with. We all, we everywhere. I'm still DDK though, don't forget. Try to pick us up from dinner. We will sit in here, but they be playing the music, so I ain't gonna be able to talk to y'all like that. They have a little music playing and stuff. It's a nice little restaurant. Hello, pick up for Stephanie. Uh, I'm gonna try some chopsticks. What, what kind of sauce you say? Sour? Yeah, give me some of that. I never tried it before. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you get okay? So, when you hold the chopsticks, how do you hold it? What is it? The, the, yeah, I need a tutorial. I, I used it before, but maybe I'm holding it wrong. I'm not good at it too, like, like, like that. Oh, okay, like, so I put the thing right there. Yeah, these is it like, true? Did you only really supposed to move one stick? 
Put this one little. Oh, put the middle finger in between. Yeah, like. And just move. Okay, so don't move the bottom. The bottom will just don't stay stay like that. Yeah. Just move the top. Okay. Yeah. okay. This one's like spin up right there. I don't yeah. know. I'm not really good at it. I'm like Thai. Normally it's for Chinese people. Like they're really. Oh, good for at real? It. Yeah. Like. So in Thai, what do y'all use? Regular like fork. Yeah. Fork and oh. spoon. We, we use a lot of spoon. Like. Mm -hmm. The other. Use okay. It. But, uh, because we have a lot of curry and like soup mm -hmm. and stuff, but for now here is like fusion. Yeah. Food. We have a lot of Chinese food, so we need this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I never knew oh, that. You want one too? Three. Yeah. No, Two of them. Yeah, yeah, I gotta practice. It's good fun though. Mm -hmm. Some people use it for everything. Like, yeah. A Chinese kid who works here, he uses it for everything. Yes, yeah, so nowadays like the um. Your culture is like very popular now, even for for Americans too. Yeah. Like a lot of the kids and stuff, they do that. They watch the anime and all that stuff. Oh, so. Okay, so because Japanese use it, uh, Korean use it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I think same basic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Japanese, you're all set. Right, I'm gonna make this. Wait, let's even got to tip the people, man. Eight dollars and thirty-one cents. Alrighty, thank you very much. You have a good night. Okay, I'm back again. So, question for you. So, sometimes when I uh, give people orders and everything, they have that orange drink. What is that? Uh, thai iced tea. Want to thai iced tea? Yeah. What's in it? It's uh, Thai tea leaf. We like home brew. And it's half and half and sugar. Half and half? Like uh, half and half, like what? Half and half milk. Oh, it's like milk in there? So it's like kind of like milk tea, but like our tea leaves like strong. So different smell than the normal milk tea. I'm gonna try one of those. I never try. I've been seeing people get this. I've been saying I'm gonna try it. I have to. You have to try it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna try this. I don't know. My stomach might be hurt. Yeah. I gotta try. It. I have to at least try it. The Thai ice cream too is good. Got one. Do you have that? Yeah, have oh, it's iced coffee. It's coffee. Yeah, it's coffee. So yeah. if I get the coffee, it's not gonna last till tomorrow, huh? I don't wanna drink it tonight because I'm gonna stay up all you night. Can put, like, I can give you like some ice with it, and you can put ice later tomorrow. Maybe it's not better. Yeah. yeah because if you put ice now tomorrow, it's gonna Can I have one of those instead? Yeah, I'm gonna switch that up. Switch it up. I'm about to get us together. I'm about to try this iced coffee. Okay. Oh, you want to change? Yeah, it's I just fine. want to switch it. It's fine. Yeah, you have it. Okay, thank so you. Time... Yeah, I gotta try this. Yeah, sure. All right, thank I you. See you like, come to, like, yeah, all the time. Yeah. All righty, thank you. You have a good one. And just like that, it's over with, baby. Y'all heard the interview. I cheated on my girl today. Y'all found out. Y'all found out who she was. Y'all found out everything that's going on. I need you guys to comment below and let me know which app you like better. Do you like Uber Eats better or do you like DoorDash better? Which one? Also, again, don't forget, comment below and let me know the other apps I need to go check out because it's time for us to get busy, baby. I ain't playing no more games. I done got a whiff of it now. It's, 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 it's over with. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. We going, we growing, we flowing. You already know in the DDK, and I'm on my way. Oh, one more thing. If you guys want to see me taste this uh this curry, no, what is it called? This Thai drink. I don't know what it's called. I forgot what she's called. Said it's called. Stay to the end of the video. I'm going to tell you guys what I think of it. And I honestly don't even know how much I made today. Because we got two apps, like I gotta look at it, and then the stuff, the tip stuff might not be on the Uber Eats app, so I already don't know. But I know it wasn't great. I know for sure we didn't get no 200. I don't even think we got 150. But if I find it, I'll let you know. I'll just put it right here or something. But anyway, I see you guys on the next one. Check in tomorrow because it's going down, baby. Are you guys ready to hear the verdict? I don't know, man. It's orange. It's real orange. I don't know. It's comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you ever had it before? Let me know how you taste. How you think it tastes?
That's decent. I'm definitely gonna drink this, for sure, ain't even a question. We also wanna drink the coffee that she gave us tomorrow. See how that tastes. This is actually pretty good. I, I'm drinking this. I'm drinking this. I mean, this. It's Thai. This Thai. The best. The best Thai in Lake County. Royal Thai in Gurney, Illinois. You might want to go there and stop me and tell them what's wrong with you. Let's go.